Hey friends, it is Sharon back with Little Britain Company and I am back with a Timu craft. Um, by the way, I'm wearing yellow today and you all can now see why I do not wear yellow particularly often. It just really, uh, but it was there and it was sleeveless and it's hot. Um, and it's not anywhere near as hot for me as it is for some of you guys in the rest of the um, country right now. So everybody, please, please stay safe. Stay hydrated, stay away from the storms. There, you know, weather is something right now. Okay, so we are gonna get started with our Timu craft today. And I also think that if you watched the last craft video, I teased what we were going to do today, which is this adorable little notebook. Um, and this is really cute. So I could also call this a Dollar Tree um, crafting because this is a Dollar Tree pad. You can buy these in lots of different colors. I They come in a pack of I, it used to be five, and I think it's three now. I think it's three now. So we've got another one right here. But I'm using that. Uh, this is a little pocket that I built in, and I'm, um, I'll am i build in another pocket. I always like the idea of having a pocket with my pad of paper, just someplace to stick something. Um, and then uh, some of the special features. The most special one to me is that this folds flat. So when I am writing... And of course, I don't have a pen available. Um, so when I'm writing something, I have that nice flat surface instead of trying to deal with something that's not flat. <laughs> that is non flat. <laughs> so anyway, I just really like that this can go totally flat for you. You can hold it nicely in your hand and it just makes it easy to write on. Nice flat surface. Um, the other thing that I did with this is uh, this is replaceable. Now, so you can see it slides up, it slides back into place. Um, I will say they're paper products. So will this last, you know, it, you would have to be pretty careful with it. And the other thing that I suggest to people who want to use it over and over again is to Mod Podge the front and back. Um, or Mod Podge, you know, the entire cover. Um, but carefully because, you know, Mod Podge would also stiffen these, these joints. So maybe, you know, top and... Anyway, um, but if you want this to stay nice and the back to stay nice coming in and out of purses and things, it's going to need some kind of additional coating. Um, I don't do that. I just like to, you know, it's also really nice to have your one off. This is, by the way, some of that wrapping paper we used in the last one. Um, this is um, paper from Hobby Lobby from a previous Hobby Lobby. So, um, okay, so we are going to get started today and uh, we are going to be using uh, this amazing paper that I just hauled in the last Timu uh, Christmas haul, um, Christmas in July Timu haul. Um, I'm super excited about that. Now, uh, we're gonna start by making our base um, with our uh, chipboard and then we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Ready? Here we go. Okay, so just as a prep, what I did was I cut my chipboard, um, and I'm sorry about the <laughs> the shadows, uh, but I cut my chipboard uh, five and a quarter by three and three quarters, um, both front and back, and then my top spine here is three and three quarters by one half. Now, this is a little different from other things that I've done, other books that I often do are albums. Um, with this one, I'm actually going to cover each individual piece. This is what's going to give us the opportunity to, to do that flip thing that we have going on. So um, I don't want to waste any paper. I don't need a huge amount of this. I'm going to cut this down the middle. No, if I cut it down the middle, I'm at five and a half. Urgh. Um, let me think about this for a second. I think what I'm going to do, because I want to make sure that I have enough paper, I think I might set it up on this sheet of paper like this um, as I cut it. That should give me, yeah, all right. So I'm still going to cut it in half. I'm going to cut it along at five and a half inches but then I'm going to attach it like this and that should give me plenty of space okay sometimes 
I'm just working through, working through, working through, and remembering. <laughs> How did I do this? How did this work? Okay, so we're just going to split the paper in half to five and a half inches. To start with. And that, oh, camera's going away. Um, and that gives me more than enough room. I can go ahead and center this and I'm probably not going, I'm gonna cut off some at the bottom. So let me go ahead, we're gonna attach this. And then I just refilled my glue bottle. I will say I had this, I think it's a 20 ounce thing of my art glitter glue, which is my favorite glue to use. And uh, I have not used up one whole bottle yet. And I've been using that one for close to a year, for a while. Okay. That's not bad. Okay, just gonna score. And I'm going to um, do the other one. I don't want lobby glue. I do want a lot of glue. I could use tape on this one. That would be fine. Just have my glue is right here. Um, but tape would be fine. So, yeah. That's not bad. Give it a quick score. And I'm just going to, um, ay, ay, ay. There we go. I'm just gonna cut it down for two reasons. One, I don't necessarily need all that bulk. Um, and two, I might be able to use that other piece for something else in the not too distant future. So, um, okay, now I'm just going to do a little fold up here. We're going to raise the camera just a little bit so I have some room to work underneath it. Just gonna score this down. This actually goes together pretty quickly. I would put music in, but y'all have indicated that you would rather hear my melodious voice. <laughs> pretty sure you didn't put it that way, but. I'm gonna think it because it makes me happy. <laughs> okay, so I'm really just this is really you know pretty much the same as scoring. It's um, just making sure everything is laying nice and flat. Now I'm gonna come along. We've done this before, where I'm just going to um, cut in now. Remember, I don't want my corners showing, so I'm not gonna cut all the way to the corner. I'm gonna cut close, but can you see that? I actually don't cut into the corner. Um, I'm gonna cut right on the outside of it. Now, I wanna, I, you know what? Maybe what I'll do is with this one, I'll show you what happens if you cut too close. Uh, there is a way to fix it, and I want you all to see that. If you cut too close, and you're like, man, you know, now my, my chipboard's gonna show through. You can fix that. Which is nice to know, cause you know, you don't wanna get this far. You've already, you know, done all this cutting and you've got, a, you've got your chipboard down, which is, you know, your chipboard's not cheap. Um, 
and just getting it all cut and ready to go is a pain in the tuckus. All right, so I'm purposely, I cut that one a little bit too close probably. So we might do that with all of these just to have. So if I cut all the way to the corner, that's generally too close. But, oops, let me, let me fix that one. Okay, but here's what you do. So, oh no, I've cut too close to the corner. What am I gonna do? Here, well, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take this little corner piece that I just cut off and I'm going to attach it right there. And that's gonna hide any imperfections. As things come together, I'm just gonna put a, that was not a wee bit of glue, that was, that was a lot of glue. Now you do need to get this so it covers your corner, but if you see that when I now bring it together, you can't tell. The other pieces will still cover the edge. What you wanna make sure is that this part gets covered. So I think I did that on a couple on purpose. Um, so let me go ahead, we're just gonna do, we'll do the whole one. And it doesn't have to be, so you've already got these corners. There's no reason not, you know, you, no reason not to use them. Um, so I'm just getting it right in there so that it is my perfect little, oh my goodness, perfect little corner. Like I said, I can't remember which corners I did that to. <laughs> Smart of me, huh? Not, 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 not especially. No. <laughs> All right. And again, you do not need a lot of glue. Our glitter glue goes a long way. We've got this teeny tiny, um, you know, exit for the glue, and that's very much by design. All right, we'll just use, we'll use this one. So, here we go. That side, there we go. I'm trying to get the, discard. all right, there we go. Now we fixed it. So if we had a mistake on this one, no biggie. Uh, now, remember, I do have to decide what's going to be, am I going to fold these two down and then have that on top? Or am I going to fold this down and have this on top? I think I'm going to do, um, I think for this one, I like having the short pieces on top. All right, so I'm just... Giving it a good cover, down it goes. Don't forget to burnish. Then I'm gonna switch sides. I don't want to go around, I want to go opposite to opposite. Kind of like that whole silly concept that opposites attract. Sometimes opposites attract, sometimes they don't. Sometimes people like to be with someone who's like them. Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I wonder who came up with this idea that opposites attract. Probably because there were two people who seemed relatively opposite. And they just, someone decided that's what that meant. <laughs> okay. So I want to get relatively close, but I don't know if you've seen that I've had a little bit of glue coming out here. I don't need to get all the way up in the corner. I do want to make sure that I have good coverage. I do want to make sure everything is properly glued down. But if you can see that, can you see that little bit right there? That's my glue. So as far down as my glue was, it came all the way up there. This glue is going to spread easily. And there you go. We've got one done. Now, if this cornering is too sharp for your liking, just... Do this, okay? 
I just rounded the corner, basically. I'm just gonna take my uh, bone folder and pretty easy peasy. There we go. I can even literally just sort of round it. So if I don't like how sh how uh, sharp those corners are, honestly, I think they're fine. But I'm gonna do this because we're we're looking at all different ways, or I'm trying to. I'm trying to show you any ways that you know you can do something with, or you can manipulate and work with this. Maybe that's the right way to put it. Okay, I'm not gonna bother to do the corners on this one because um, I think. You know, I think y'all figured it out. All right, I'm going to double check. Remember, okay, I did long sides first. So I'm going to do long sides first again. I probably got too close to the top of this one, but it's not really going to matter. Not for this. Burnish. Glue. Burnish. I just realized that this might be a little too far away. I'll move a little closer. That was kind of far away. Okay, so then we're just gonna and here we go. And again, you can see I actually have a little bit of glue coming out. If you want to, good time to do those. And last. I think I got a little too close to the edge, actually. I'm capping my glue. Um, I often stop and cap my glue in between only because this glue dries so stinking fast. Oh, I had way too much glue on the outside of that one. Good news is we're going to pretty much cover this up. Okay. All right front and back are done, right? Nice. I'm gonna put those there for a minute to dry. Now I need my, which I've lost. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> it walked away. Um, okay, and so for this piece, I'm going to need uh, blah, 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 a bigger piece. Okay, so I'm gonna start by covering this um, with a little piece here. I don't need a whole lot. I'm gonna go over the top of it. So I'm going to start by doing uh, this. I could use the whole thing. I just feel like that's just gonna be too much. Um, I don't want this piece to be huge. So let's see, maybe one inch. This is longer than an inch right now. And the reason that I'm cutting it down, you might think, you know, why, even, why bother cutting it down, is because it really can create a bulk issue for me. And then I'm going to leave that, yeah, it's about a half an inch. So let's go ahead and um, I'm gonna use my finger. Uh, straight edge here. I'm just going to get rid of that little bit. Easy peasy. Okay. Yeah. This thing's kind of going. Okay. This goes down. I'm just covering this right now. That's it. I'm just covering this. Before I create the um, the hinge for it, I want to make sure that it's going to be covered. So. Let's, mm. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm still going to do my little corners here. And I know that seems, you know, might seem a little silly, but I'll show you in a minute why. Again, part of it is because of bulk. Too much bulk and your, your papers are going to sit funny and funky and no one wants that. Okay. With this one, guys, it, it really doesn't matter. Front, back, whatever. The only side you're going to see is this at the moment. So I'm just going to um, glue up one side. I'm going to glue the other side. I'm going to get a little glue here and I'm going to go ahead and get glue all over the table. I'm just going to do this. And then I'm going to do this so it stays down. All right. For this one, you really are gluing, you know, whoops, so you can see it, pretty small pieces. They're going over kind of a larger piece. I want to make sure that it's going to stay down. But again, it's all forgiving because of what we do next. So this is kind of my order of operations here. My PEMDAS. PEMDAS? PEMDAS? My PEMDAS. That's what it is. Okay. We've got this cute little piece. It's actually going to sit like this. Let's bring you back some so you can see how it's going to, what, what that's going to look like. So in order to do that, we need to do the next piece. I'm going to need a piece of uh, paper that's going to cover over to this direction and this one. So I want something that's about two inches. It's actually still pretty small. So it needs to be this width, which is three and a quarter, three and three quarters by two inches. So let's get out. Um, we didn't have enough leftover from that one, but I've got this other sheet right here. Move this out of the way for just a second. And all right, so you can see what I'm doing. Um, you can see that I was cutting things out of this. I don't need much of this. So, oh no, I don't want to do it that way. I want to do it this way. Three and three quarters. Duh. <laughs> It's always a game to see, can I figure out the right directionality of this? Okay, so I want it to be three and three quarters. This is not gonna get folded over. It's gonna be okay. By two inches. right now it looks awfully small oops let me get that out of the way but it's going to be fine look at that now I do want to just double check it yeah it's fine okay here's the fun part I'm going to put this piece that we just prepared and I want it pretty much in the middle so we're gonna zoom in here. Whoops, how about we do it that way? Um, we're gonna zoom in just so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start, I'm just gonna go ahead and glue, 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 glue. This one's gonna have glue coming out the edges. It's okay, I'm gonna keep it where it is. I'm basically just trying to put it smack dab in the middle, if that is at all possible. I 
I think, I think we're pretty close. And I'm also going to do this. I'm going to stand it on its edge. Good thing about the glue, you have like an extra second. All right, I'm going to burnish. I'm putting some real pressure on this right now. Now, now the next thing I'm going to do, although I don't really want my glue to adhere to the sides of this, I'm gonna do that. Notice that I turned it so that the piece, the prepared piece is now on the bottom. And now I'm scoring. So we've created this kind of interesting indentation going on here, right? So that piece is there. It is very well attached. And it actually is fine that there's a little bit of glue on there, so on those sides um, that had spilled over some because we've got this interesting little prepared piece. This little prepared piece, let me look at these, see if there's any difference in these, one that I would rather have on the front. I'm always finicky about that. Okay, this piece is going to go like this. If you've ever seen someone create a flat album, that's basically what I'm doing, but I'm doing it with a pad of paper. Um, so, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna do this. Now, I'm gonna try to be very careful not to have too much glue going over, going outside. If I get some glue on the outside, I'm not going to fret. I can clean it up and at least I know I've got good coverage. There we go. Take this for a minute, okay. And look, it's, it's already looking flat on that side. So now we're doing the same thing. Don't forget to turn it like this. You don't wanna turn it so that this side is on the inside. Um, Cause this is giving us that that flip over book, look, book, look. Okay, so again, I really, I am putting, it's a, you know, it's a decent amount of glue. It certainly looks like it's a decent amount of glue, but in the realm of things, it's, it's all that we need for this project. It's not huge. Okay, at this point, there are a couple of things that we could do. One, we can put another piece on the inside to kind of cover this, possibly something that has the same thickness as this piece. Maybe another piece that's exactly this color just to, just to consolidate our colors on the inside. Um, so for this one, I actually just used some heavyweight cardstock to do the inside instead of adding more red. Although, I, yeah, I did it on both of these. So you can see underneath my pad of paper, I just used that heavyweight cardstock. Um, this is not heavyweight. And I don't really have enough to of this one to cover the inside. This was from a 12 by 12 sheet. This is more like eight by eight and not quite. It's just under. So what do I wanna do next is I want to make sure that I've given it that I've ensured that um, there's not going to be much peeking through. Does that make sense? I don't. I don't want the chipboard peeking through, and I don't want it to feel gloppy, um, ridgy. Maybe that's the best word for it. It is hot in here. Sorry, I'm taking a drink. So. I've decided that I want this on the outside. I think it's gonna be so, so cute on the outside. Um, 
but I do need something on the inside. I do want something cute on the inside. I don't know that I want to use up these papers because there aren't, there's not much of it. Um, you only get one sheet of each thing. Uh, so there's not a whole lot of it. There's, it's, uh, it's, there's just not a lot of it. Um, yeah. So I've got to think about how I want to do that. I think on the inside of this one, because I'm using, um, because of the papers that I'm using, and I want a more simplistic, um, this is a little bit old fashioned look, I'm just gonna go ahead and start by covering the inside. And so the inside of this is gonna go back to the original dimensions. It's going to go to each one of these sheets should be actually a smidge smaller. So instead of being, um, five and a quarter. Yeah, actually we're going to do that. Let me see. So this is the, this is the original notebook. This one is the one that's five, um, by three and a half. So a piece of paper that's five by three and a half is actually going to be kind of perfect. Okay. That's what we're going to look for. I don't know if I can get that out of this. We're going to try. So I have this sheet of paper I just used. So if I go ahead and do my three and a half, and my three and a half, and my five. I don't actually like cutting paper at the same time. Mostly just because I'm not good at it. <laughs> if I was good at it, I would love it. If I was accurate, when I cut more than one thing at a time, I'd be like, yeah, I like this. I'm not good at it, so I'm going to say I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. I, we won't do that. Okay. So this is going to give me, and this is just a really nice, easy way to do it. Um, it's going to cover a lot of my sins here. So it's going to go so close to the top. It's the exact same paper cardstock that I used. And it's going to make it pretty impossible to see much of what's going on, you know, the, the um, other pieces that we made. Okay, so this one's easy peasy. Do I have one of those things? I'm going to say, oh, I do. All right, so to make this part easy on myself, I'm going to use this. And it's going to be fine. This stuff is not going to come up. I don't know if you all have used this. Does anyone use this one? I've run out of it really fast. Now I do, I have a tendency to go just over the edge to make sure and I will tell you on the surface that I have here, I'm, I know I'm shaking the camera, but on the surface I have here, all I have to do is really this. I'm just going to wipe it away for a minute and it comes off of here. It's not going to come off of your paper. When you put it down, you may have a second to reposition it, um, but you're not going to have long. Uh, the other thing you need to do is when I do it that way, I have some hangers on on the corners. Just clean those up. You can use a um, an art eraser. It works super, works super well. But remember, I'm also not done. Got a little of that adhesive there. So I'm going. I'm also going. Just going down with my finger. That's working just as well to get rid of the. Extra adhesive there. Yeah, done. I'm liking it so far. It's it's. These are just they actually go together, really really well. They're, this is something that's so cool and something, you know, if you needed a gift for someone, a last minute gift, and you had the paper products around, this is just something that you could make. And you know how cool is it? Your own personalized little yeah. You could personalize it, certainly. Just thinking about that. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and go over my edge here. I'm gonna make sure that we have good coverage on the edges, which is 
super duper important. Okay, and I'm making a mess on my table. It's true. Let me clean that up. And I'm gonna stop and clean it up right away only because I really made a mess of this one. Um, I just don't want my book to stick to it. That would be a problem. Okay. I just got something from Timu that I wanna use on this next time. Next time, guys. Because I haven't uh, done the video on it yet, so I can't use it. It's the rule in the house. Nobody can have their stuff until the video is done. Okay. Ah! I didn't mean for you all to spend half an hour watching me get glue off of the, or adhesive off. All right, I'm just gonna, just gonna have to be careful over here. Okay. So... We'll just go a little bit closer. You can see that there's some adhesive sticking off the side and I'm just pulling it off. It's just gonna get rid of what's extra. Except for me, I know I'm extra. I'm good with it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right, let's pull back a bit. We have our notebook. You can decide whichever side you think is the perfect one, but this will lay flat in your hand like that. You can open it. Um, we've still got a little bit. I, I think that our glue is pretty well dried at this point. Um, there we go. Now it's time to decorate. Okay, so um, next thing we're going to do is cut this particular piece. Now, because it's directional, I need to be super careful about the way I cut it. So I'm going to do the same cutting dimensions as these two pieces from the inside. I'm going to move that out of the way. And I want this to be uh, three and a half. Yeah, I'm going to measure, measure, measure. Here we go. So I want that piece to be three and a half. And I want this piece to be three and a half. So I've got this little piece and honestly, I have to say that's a cute little piece. I'm gonna keep it. All right, so I also want this Merry Christmas to be here. So this needs to be five inches. That's gonna be for the front. Let's get closer. So this one's gonna be five inches. Oh, I kind of moved my camera there a little well. Um, right there. I love this paper. It's it's really just gorgeous paper. Oh, so so stinking cute. All right, and then this one's going to be five inches. And this is the back. I'm gonna leave this to the side though. All right, I know I'm gonna need this again. So I'm gonna leave that to the side. All right, next, we're gonna go, just go ahead and attach this cute piece to the front. Oh my goodness, I really love that piece. All right. Um, I am gonna use my tape, but this time I'm not gonna go over. I can use a, a touch of glue if I really wanna go over by a wee bit. Actually, I think that's what I'm going to do, just to ensure. Oh my goodness. So I'm just kind of going along here. I was, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm staying. <laughs> I'm staying on this side of the... Um, I'm also gonna make sure that I at least have some decent coverage in the middle. I do not want this popping up in the middle. Okay. 
Now, I need to remember I can I can make it nice and flat. All right, that's actually pretty spot on. Now you can put a little piece up here if you want to. I'm actually gonna leave this top part empty at the moment. Now there's something else you could do with this, which is you could add a ribbon along the top. We might do that, we'll see. So, same deal with this guy. So I'm just, again, I'm only oh, I'm not doing anything because it decided to solidify for me in that instant that I stepped away. Fun, huh? Well, pros and cons of art glitter glue. Again, remember, I'm being actually cautious not to get it right up to the side. And this one is actually a little bit, I'm gonna do that. All right, let's get this guy. Now, also orientation. My Merry Christmas is that way. This way is gonna be the opposite, just so again, if somebody wants to, you know, I just want both pieces to look attractive and correct. I don't want this one to be upside down when someone's got it in their hand. So we got a quick burnish. Make sure I burnish this side. All right, there we go. Now, honestly, guys, so with this one, with the last one, I actually had a, um, uh, like a, a band in the back of it. If you wanna see how to do that, uh, you can view the last video that I did where I actually made a band for the um, for the bigger book for this. Um, one, 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 one. Let me get this uh, for the uh, the other one of this one. This one's also got a belly band in the back. Um, so if you want to see how you can do that, um, the other thing about these is again we've talked about that they're paper, so they're not going to last forever. In this one. Um, I may just go ahead and do this as a one and done, which means that I'm just going to um, attach the actual notebook to the, the pad that we created. It doesn't mean that you could never go back and fix that. You can always um, just attach a band around what's left of the notebook. It is up to you. Um, okay. So, that looks good. There's not a whole lot else I'm going to do with this notebook. Now, if I wanted to, there are so many things that we could do with it. We could add a topper to it so that even though it's gonna be one and done, um, if you don't love the colors, because you know the colors are limited at Dollar Tree for these little notebooks that I'm using, um, if you don't love the um, the color of this, you could always make a one piece that goes over the top of it um, for when you open your notebook. All right. So now our notebook is in. Um, there are two things that I haven't done yet. And one of those is, oops, sorry, um, is to decorate this even more. I love this. But at the same time, I always, I just feel the urge to spruce things up on it. Maybe I should just leave them alone. Um, I kind of like this picture and I think it would look really cute underneath this Merry Christmas. So I'm going to cut this picture out. Um, and I want to leave my, I just love my cute little babies in here. They're all just so stinking cute. All right. So let's go ahead and try to get, this is going to be pretty close. Now I will say, I really want this to be very, very close. 
but I don't want to cut into that next picture, which I also absolutely love. I'm just gonna do it like that. So we've cut off that little section and move that out of the way. Okay, I wanna keep those other ones for later. And now I can just finish this guy off a little bit. One of the nice things about this particular board. All right. Oh, I did not just do that. I did. But be very careful with it because it can grab. And it did. Okay. It's okay with this one. Thank goodness. You want to go slow. The thinner your paper, the more chance you have of that that kind of thing and also the more chance you have a ripping which is just so awful okay I think that's adorable I also think it doesn't pop enough so I'm going to do a couple of the things here and hopefully that will make it pop um, one I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna corner those edges I'm gonna use that side think hmm what do you think of that where we just corner like the first two that's kind of cute now do I want red behind it like that I do kind of like the red. There's, there's a lot of red in here, but I think that's okay. And this is, golly, about the perfect piece. All right, I'm trimming this piece down just, just a tooch. Actually, let me do it this way. I'm going to, I'm gonna modify that thought. This is a nice square piece. It's something that came off something we just did, um, but this particular um, board doesn't have a huge amount of room, so I've got to be really careful. I don't want it to look like this is going to the edges. Mm, or do I? I could fantify it a little bit. This is where we. This is where it takes more time. This is where you just start to really think about how do you really want to. Um, Add in your pieces. What kinds of things do you want to pop? I think this is really cute. Um, kind of thinking, to me it almost looks like an old time TV set down here. Okay, I have an idea. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach this. I'm going to actually glue this one. I'm gonna, we're gonna move this back a little bit like this. Because at the moment it's, it's kind of out of my line of view. All right, and I wanna make sure that I don't have any paper danglies. At the moment, I kinda do. I already need to change the blade, which is hilarious, because I just changed that blade, but. Okay. So I'm just glue, 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 glue. Now I am attaching, I am not. Okay, not leaving a whole lot of space. I'm gonna take a sliver off of this. Okay, that's pretty close. Now the top part is a wee bit bigger. Because I still want to corner it.
Now, I could put some pops up on here, but I don't think I'm going to. I think I'm gonna move this guy up. Actually, I think I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna get him even closer. Hopefully I have a steady hand. kind of feel like I need something else here. Okay, like I said, now I'm just playing. <laughs> or, I'm not actually sure I love that on the, that side. But I kind of love it on the inside. Look at that as a cute little pocket. I think that is kind of adorable. Right there. I think, do I have, let me see if I have, you can do that or that. To make our little pop it pop pocket pop oh, gracious um i think to make anything in go into the pocket more smoothly i'm going to add this on like this because I am liking this as a pocket. So I'm just going to, so I've got to rethink. I've got to rethink my front. little thing might drive me crazy. <laughs> and the funniest thing is I didn't intend to do it that way, but you know, sometimes when you don't intend to do things and they just work out. Okay. So I'm gonna start by adding this right here and this is our inner pocket. And I'm going to be careful to add my glue. Right there. Ooh, don't move on me. Okay. Now, as much as I love that, and I do, I kind of wish there was something there. And I think I have a solution for that. I have these wonderful clear stickers. I am knocking the heck out of the table. I am so sorry, guys. I keep trying to figure out what's, you know, why I'm not getting a good um, uh, balance on the phone. We'll figure it out. Oh, I like the Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas right there. Okay, let's just get into this one. And 
This is super cute. Where are you? If I can get it to come up. There we go. Oh, sticky. I am going to put that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Hang on. Here we go. Okay, so I really like that. You've got this cute little thing. You've got a little pocket. You've got your pad of paper. That's all good. I don't have to do anything else to the front of this. Um, I am kind of going back and forth about whether I should even do something to the front of that because I really like it. Normally, I would. You can see the other ones I decorated, but this one already has. It's got the saying on it. It's got the this um, wonderful... Um, <laughs> ribbon right here. I think I'm actually going to let well enough alone with this one. It is hard for me to do. Uh, we've got our wonderful cute little pocket on the inside. We've got our pad of paper. It folds completely over so that when we're taking notes, we can actually hold it nice and flat in our hand. Um, and uh, and for me, this is very difficult to walk away, but I, I am going to. I think the only thing that I would add here is um, I may later go back and pull out some of my little... Um, pop dots and put a few in here just to make it bounce a little bit more bounce it you know come off the page a little bit more um but that's it that is it we are done i hope you enjoyed it and uh you know hopefully you're gonna you're gonna try making one of your own it is so cute so nice and fast goes together so easily and you certainly you know can can decorate these in many many ways um I'll let you know if I find another one. Uh, I would have, I think that if I could have found somewhere, and I've seen these stickers, these cute little babies that are a little bit bigger, one of those right here as a sticker would be perfect. Um, and I wish I had one here or that I was that good at cutting. But for right now, this is it. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, you guys have a wonderful, merry July so far. <laughs> Cheers.